Okay, has your website been hit by the Google September 2023 helpful content uh, filter? If so, you need to watch this video. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's happened to your website and how you are going to fix it. Okay, first up, let's pop over to the SE Journal and have a look at this. Google confirms quality is foremost factor in search. Okay, so that goes hand in hand with helpful content. Quality is important, not quantity quality yeah so if you're going my SEO strategy is to have skyscraper skyscraper pages with the most amount of content and keywords that doesn't work because it's not the most useful way to create content the way the way helpful content works is Google is trying to look at a web page and go right do you understand what your users are looking for do you have the information that they're looking for do you present it in the way that they are most wanting to have it presented to them? That's what helpful content does. So if you're not doing that, you gotta change it. No amount of links or mucking around with the technical SEO is going to help you. You have to sit down at the table and start eating. All right, let me let me show you some examples. All right, I love this website. I love these guys. I, mean, I have no affiliation with them, yeah, but they they really get helpful content. Let's Let's get into it. All right, their, their web page title. How to find Amazon influencers and their storefronts. All right, so they repeat back the main, the main need of the user. So the user comes in and goes, oh, these guys know me. They know what I'm after. Yeah, I, I have an Amazon storefront and I'm, I have Amazon products and I want to find influencers who've got a storefront who can help promote me. How do I find them? All right, and then it repeats the core problem. Yeah, there's no shortage of influencers that are out there and this post is going to show you how to find the best ones boom so what you're trying to do what the problem is how we're going to help you that's helpful content that is really helpful they're not they're not boring me with they're not showing me ad zans. they're not annoying me with different stuff they're giving me the real meat all right then the article itself is really really useful yeah really really useful the they get they get straight into useful content yeah could influencers be the key to boosting your brand's Amazon presence? I hope so. Look at this lovely bolding. Look at this lovely use of emphasis, yeah? The content is really relevant and really well displayed. Um, the font is perfect. The spacing in the font is perfect, yeah? The subheadings, perfect. What is an Amazon influencer anyway? Well, you need to know that. Three ways to find them, yeah? Well, you need to be able to find them. What are the what are the good ones have in common? Yeah, how do you determine if someone's a if someone's a good influencer? Well, and and then and why do brands work with them in, in the first place? So fantastic subtitles. It's not full of advertising to annoy you. Yeah, just really great content. I'm having a fantastic experience, and the information here is just rock solid gold. All right, now let's pop over to this one. All right, Amazon influencers, six easy ways to find them, plus top list 2023 review. Okay, so this this uh, article we looked at, that's the leading article, and it has been the leading article for some time, it, it arrived there at the start of the year. This one used to be a high-ranked article, it's on a big slide, yeah, I think it's down to 20. Um, when I first looked at it, it was at six, but it's just dropping and dropping. All right, so the title doesn't demonstrate that they know what the problem is, what the user is looking for. Working with Amazon influencers is one of the best ways to boost awareness of your brand and increase your sales on Amazon. That's not helpful content. That is a consultant telling me something I already know. Social media and influencer marketing are essential for success, especially in e-commerce. I know. Yep. And it continues on like that. Yep. Poorly laid out, redundant content. Yeah. These subheadings are poor. What are Amazon influencers? Oh, well, that's all. That one's all right. How do you find them in six super easy six super easy ways? Ah, oh, that's all right. But then it stops, doesn't it? Best Amazon influencers wrapping up in a fact. The best influencers, well, they might not be relevant to me. The best ones are probably, you know, girls in the in their poses on the beach. But but I might be selling flak jackets, so that's that's not super relevant to a lot of people. You want to be as relevant as you can to as many people as possible. But it doesn't have a heading here on how I'm actually supposed to determine which ones are any good. That's the main thing. How do I determine if, if, some, if one is a good one 
and they're going to be a good fit for my brand. That's missing. Yeah. So not helpful, unhelpful content. Um, not not doing very well. All right, let's have a look at another one. Time out. These guys are number one ranked for best diners in New York. And why is that? Helpful content. Yeah. Got a picture, title. We know it's by Rachel um, on, a, on a fairly recent date. So that's helpful. Uh, nice introduction. A little bit of little bit of AdSense. But the AdSense, it's not between the picture and the title, which would be annoying. It's in between the content sections. Yeah. All right, so I come down here, I can go past the AdSense, Best Diners in New York. The first one is the Golden Diner, okay? So I've got a star rating, I've got some tags, the Restaurant Diner, I guess that's probably a location down near the Two Bridges, I don't know, I might check that out later. All right, so it talks about um, the history of the place, it talks about um, food types, and some items from the menu. Um, it's not a deep dive, but I can get to the deep dive if I want to. If I want to just have um, a quick overview and compare them, yeah. Well, oh, I can quickly get down to the next one. All right, so we've got a newsletter here. Doesn't really distract me. Might even sign up for that. All right, another one here again. Information about the history of the place, um, the cuisines, some of the items, etc. So it's really quite useful. Bit of AdSense doesn't disturb me. Doesn't. Give me a bad, bad time. I'm not having a bad time. I'm still having a good experience. And I can easily get through the information. I can read more. So this one remains near the top. Now, here's one that got really hurt by helpful content. Now, why is that? Let's have a look. It's the same kind of thing. We've got AdSense. We've got an introduction. But the layout here is not quite as good, is it? It's just not quite as good. Now, that is helpful content. Yeah? Okay, so the way this is laid out is better than that. Just not quite as much effort in, in, in making the layout useful. All right, so then I've got a picture of, of a diner and I've got an AdSense, which doesn't actually load. I'm not sure why. What makes an, a New York diner unique? Mm, all right, I'm not going to read that out to you, but let's say some generic words are there. It's not that helpful. All right, Ellen Stardust Diner. So I've got title, picture, AdSense, and then writing. It's all, all about a writing. It's loved by tourists and because people sing in it. But it doesn't give me any details there about the history of it or the cuisines or much about the menu items. Americans, it's American diner style fare, classic dishes and milkshakes. I need more information than that. Yep. All right, let's, let's go down to the next one. Soho, been to Soho. It's all right, it wasn't great. Um, all right, not a great picture. Add, next on my list, okay, it's on her, it's retro, throwback, thoughtfully put together dishes with retro flair. What does that mean? That doesn't tell me anything. She likes the apple pie, her husband likes the ice cream sundae, okay? Um, one of the best, it treads the line perfectly between themed, kitsch, and stylish. I mean, what is it? There, there are a lot of words here, okay? A lot of words were written, but I didn't actually get any information. There is no detail that I can, there's no detail button I can click on. I've got no ratings. I don't know exactly where it is. It doesn't have a tag for location in New York. Yeah. So when you compare, well, look at that. Look at this, look at this now. Yeah, I've got a picture, I've got an ad. I've got an ad that's not loading, another picture, and another ad. Now, I'm sorry, you can't tell me that that's helpful. Yeah. So, helpful content. It is a thing. If you've been hit by it, you have a problem. You are not going to be able to get through this by adding more links. You are not going to be able to get through this by getting an SEO audit that says that you've got a problem with a couple of your titles, your meta description's too long, yep, and you've got a page load speed problem. It is not that. It's a, if you've been hit now, it's because your website is just not that helpful. Your content may well be unique. It may well be uh, long. You may well have lots of keywords. You may well have lots of links. But if it's not helpful, well, I'm being helpful now and giving you the rub on this. You need to really look at what people are trying to learn from your web pages and give it to them. Yep. Um, this, this model, yep. This model um, and this model does not work any longer. 
you want to recover rankings, um, you have to fix it. All right. Hope this video proves useful. Well, now end. Bye for now.